I got these tools off Facebook Marketplace for $35. Let's get them organized, shall we? All right, so this is what we got. It's a lot of stuff. We can start from left to right here, or from right to left here. This whole bucket is all Taiwanese stuff. Um, there's a couple sets in there. I could tell as I was going through it, there was a couple full sets in there. So that's all Taiwanese stuff. Everything's in really pretty good shape. There isn't a lot of rusted uh there's not a lot of rust on these sockets this is a no-name ratchet nice and dry a couple extensions a couple little socket sets here a little quarter inch some cheapo nut drivers look at this cool thing it is an impact driver let me get it to focus here there we go Made in Taiwan, half inch impact driver. One of those hand impact drivers. Kind of cool. <clears throat> We've got <clears throat> all of this is Craftsman. So we've got some quarter inch, uh, some, you know, just a mix, mix of everything. This is all like random USA made, like, um, there's some Napa in here. Let's see. What else is there? Husky made in the U.S. Back when Husky was made in the U.S.A. There's another Husky. This is Fleet. Made in the U.S.A. Focus, focus. There we are. Fleet. So, a lot of good, a lot of good craftsman stuff. Um... I don't know, I'll have to look, I'll do like a more in-depth look and see what's SAE, what's metric, and separate out all the quarter and three-eighths stuff, but this is just to get a quick look at it. We got two adjustable wrenches. We've got an eight inch, no name here, just says drop forged, or for, drop forged steel. So, probably Chineseium. But the other one is a 10 inch. Proto. And it's in pretty good shape. Some of these proto jaws can move a little bit, but this one's not too bad. Jaws look pretty good. Closes almost all the way. I might just have to fix that top because you can see it was hammered in a little bit from some light tapping but it's always nice to get a proto all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean these sockets up and we'll start going through the wrenches here so another uh, another snap for you all right and we're back so one thing i forgot to mention in the sockets is you know out of all those sockets dozens and dozens it's hard to believe that i was only able to find one single lonely snap-on vintage snap-on usually you find at least a couple snap-ons in a big haul like that but this was the one solitary snap-on what is it half inch so course it's not even metric oh well so I got one snap on out of that all right all right so here's the wrenches all of this is all Taiwan or India or whatever so that'll that is is it is what it is all right so let's start out right in front here we got a nice big arm length proto uh box in and open in one and one sixteenth on both sides that's a nice big, nice big honker right there. Couple of little protos. 
we've got a Mac. This, you probably won't be able to see it because it's kind of rusted on here, but this is a Mac. This is a Matco. Matco. Can you see it? Can you see it? There we go. Matco. And then we got a couple SKs. A couple decent sized ones there. So that's cool. These are just random USA made, Napa, some other things here. And then we got the Craftsman's. So we've got what looks to be not quite a full set, maybe. I don't know. I didn't really look at the sizes, but this is all open and box in Crafts, Craftsman single V. So they're all that um, Craftsman V. Right down to 11.30 seconds is the smallest one. Uh, a couple randoms here. Another single V. These are a couple double line Vs. Let's see, double line Vs. Uh, here's a mix, some metric, some SAE of, oops, of uh, double V. Can you see double V? Um, what do we got here? What is this? VA. This is like one of those real thin wrenches. This is a single V. That's kind of hard to see this light. Oh, yep, there we go. And then we got some double box ends here. And what's interesting with these is they don't say Craftsman. They say Sears. Yeah, isn't that cool? Sure, it's the same, um, you know, uh, Craftsman wasn't manufactured by Craftsman. They were manufactured by other companies. So I'm sure it's probably from the same company that makes Sears or that makes uh, Craftsman. All right, so that's that. We got a couple cool things. I really like this big old Proto wrench here. We got the Proto adjustables. So pretty good haul for 35 bucks.